and good morning. Hope you're doing well this morning. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. Sharing a good cup of coffee with you this morning and a few thoughts from God's Word. I have been discussing and sharing with you my views about the end of the age and the destruction and the defeat of Satan, which of course carries with it the idea, the end of the charismata. So, one of the greatest confusions, as I've shared with you, in the entire discussion of the end of charismata is people say, well, if, if you believe that the gifts ended, then what about prayer? Are we not supposed to pray? Do you not believe in healing? And the answer, of course, is I absolutely believe in the power of prayer. I believe that God can and does heal. I just don't believe it's in a miraculous way. And this strikes at the heart of the confusion that I believe exists today. And that is properly defining a miracle. People call almost anything a miracle. They call Events in football games and baseball games. It's a miracle. No, it's not. <laughs> you know? Uh, so if we're going to use biblical terms, concepts, ideas, then we need to define those things in the way the Bible does. Just because we don't understand how something happened doesn't mean it's a miracle. Just because we don't even understand why it was done doesn't mean it's a miracle. You know, we live in a pretty amazing world. So, one of the first things that I shared with you in defining a miracle is that in the healings that we find in the New Testament, they were absolutely instantaneous. Boom! The Greek word that is used to describe Jesus' healings is eutheos, which means right then, right there, right at that time. We have absolutely no example of people being uh, improved over a great period of time, months or weeks, months, even years, and then finally getting better when Jesus laid their hands on them and said, Be whole. You know, Mark chapter 1, here, here's a leper. And Jesus said, Be whole. Instantaneously, the man was healed. Okay, the second point that is very, very critical to see is that when Jesus healed somebody, when Jesus or his apostles performed a miracle on somebody, that result was perfect. I, I can't tell you the number of examples of miracles, so-called, that I personally examined and investigated in which people claimed healing, a miracle, and yet that supposedly occurred years in the past, and now here they are, years from that supposed healing, and they've still got the effects of that. I'll never forget one man, and I understand this is to a certain extent ad hominem, but it's part of the investigation that I've done in studying this uh, entire issue of the miracles. One man was just adamant that he had he been healed. He had a bad back. Uh, said he had, you know, ruptured disc, and he had this, and he had that, and he had had several surgeries, and he said the Lord had healed him. And yet, as we were talking, he was in obvious pain, and I asked him, and he said, it's my back. He said, I'm still undergoing treatment, I'm still undergoing therapy, and he said, I'll be under therapy the rest of my life. And I very kindly asked him, but I thought you were healed. And he said, oh, I was. And he said, I'm better than I was. Folks, that's not a miracle. You know, Jairus' daughter was dead. Jesus raised her from the dead. Lazarus was dead. Jesus raised him from the dead instantaneously perfectly. You know, Lazarus wasn't raised with part of him still stinking. When Jesus healed the blind man in John chapter 9, 
when he healed the lame man, John chapter 5, passages I've already alluded to. In all of the miracles that we have recorded in the New Testament, the healing, the miracle, was perfect. There were no residual effects of the disease or of the ailment or of the malady. And yet, when we look at the claims today of so-called miracles, what is true in the huge majority of cases, it, there is that there is residual effects, residual pain, residual evidence of the remaining malady. I would submit to you, therefore, as kindly as possible, that is not a miracle. When Jesus and his apostles heal someone, when they performed a true miracle, it was perfect and it was total. Hey, thanks for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the flip side.